the human skeleton can be subdivided into axial and appendicular regions. The axial skeleton consists of the skull and the vertebral column. The human skull can be subdivided into a viscerocranium or facial skeleton, as well as a neurocranium, otherwise known as the cranial vault or brain case. The viscerocranium or facial skeleton consists of the bones surrounding the orbits, the nasal cavity, and oral cavity, and is made up of 15 irregular bones three of which are single and lie in the midline. The mandible, most inferiorly and commonly referred to as the jaw, the vomer, forming the inferior aspect of the nasal septum, and the ethmoid bone, which helps to form the medial aspect of the orbit, as well as six paired bones which occur bilaterally on both sides of the face. The maxilla, which serves as the attachment site for the upper dentition or upper teeth, the zygomatic bones, or the cheekbone, the nasal bones on the superior aspect of the nose, or the bridge of the nose, the inferior nasal concha and the lateral wall of the nasal cavity, the lacrimal bones, which are on the medial aspect of the orbit, as well as the palatine bones, which form the posterior aspect of the hard palate posterior to the palatine process of the maxilla. The neurocranium or brain case consists of eight bones, four of which are singular and in the midline, beginning anteriorly with the frontal bone, the ethmoid bone, the sphenoid bone, and the occipital bone, and two sets of bones occurring bilaterally as pairs, the temporal bones, as well as the parietal bones. The brain case may be further subdivided into the more superior aspect, known as the calvaria, or skull cap, and the more inferior portion, known as the cranial base, which supports the weight of the brain. The cranial base can be subdivided into three cranial fossa, or depressions which support the individual aspects of the brain. The most anterior portion is known as the anterior cranial fossa, and consists of the frontal bone, the ethmoid bone, as well as the superior aspect of the sphenoid bone, known as the lesser wing. The middle cranial fossa consists of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone, as well as the temporal bone's petrous portion, extending into the cranial cavity. Lastly, the posterior cranial fossa is predominantly made up by the occipital bone, as well as the portions laterally and posteriorly of the temporal bone. During development, when the bones of the skull meet, they form specialized fibrous joints known as sutures. Where the frontal and parietal bones meet, we can see the coronal suture. Between the paired parietal bones, the sagittal suture. Between the occipital bone and parietal bones posteriorly, the lambdoid suture. As well as on the lateral aspect of the skull, between the parietal and temporal bone, the squamous suture.